hemoglobin estimation by sign meth hemoglobin method. This is the internationally recommended method for determining hemoglobin. Principle Blood is diluted in the reagent solution containing potassium cyanide and potassium ferricyanide. The latter converts hemoglobin to methemoglobin which is converted to cyan methemoglobin by potassium cyanide. The absorbance of the solution is then measured in a spectrophotometer at a wavelength of 540 nanometers or in a colorimeter using a yellow-green filter. Equipment Pipet Colorimeter or spectrophotometer The principle applied for the estimation of hemoglobin is the same in both. The wavelengths available for the estimation differ. Reagents required Drapkin's solution the pH of the solution must be checked every month and should be maintained between 7 to 7.4. The solution is unstable if exposed to light and can be stored at room temperature in brown borosilicate bottles for several months. The solution should be clear and pale yellow in colour. When measured against water as a blank in a spectrometer at a wavelength of 540 nm, the absorbance must be adjusted to zero. If the room temperature is higher than 30 degrees centigrade, the solution should be stored in a refrigerator but brought to room temperature before use. The solution must never be frozen. Discard the solution if found to be turbid. If pH is outside range, do not pipet Drapkin's solution by mouth. Hemoglobin standard solution. This is available commercially at a specific concentration or strength. It is stored in a brown bottle as it is photosensitive. Exposure to light causes deterioration in the strength of the standard. The concentration of the standard used in this demonstration is 14.8 gram percent. Sample EDTA whole blood venous sample or capillary sample. Procedure Take 5 milliliters of Trapkin solution in a test tube. Mix the blood sample by gentle inversion and draw 0 0.02 milliliters of blood into the pipette. Wipe the outer surface of the pipette with a tissue paper to remove excess blood. Place the pipette into the tube containing Trapkin solution and slowly expel the blood into the solution. Mix well and let it stand undisturbed for 15 minutes. Measure the absorbance of this solution at 540 nanometers in a spectrophotometer after adjusting the optical density at zero by using Drapkin solution as blank. Calculate the hemoglobin concentration in the sample by using this formula or a standard curve. Concentration of hemoglobin in sample is equal to Absorbance of sample divided by absorbance of standard multiplied by concentration of standard. Preparation of a standard curve will be discussed shortly. Concentration of standard will be available on the kit insert or the vial of a standard solution. Measure its absorbance or OD against a blank of Drapkin's solution. Preparation of standard curve for hemoglobin estimation by sign myth hemoglobin method. Let's learn to prepare a calibration curve for hemoglobin estimation by sign myth hemoglobin method. In a laboratory where several samples are tested in a day, this is an important exercise to standardize the test method. For this, you will require Drapkin solution and a hemoglobin standard. The concentration of the standard used in this demonstration is 14.8 gram percent. A WHO international reference cyan hemoglobin standard is also available commercially as 10 milliliters sealed ampules and is stable for years. Make several dilutions of the standard solution with Drapkin's solution. In the first test tube, take 5 milliliters of Drapkin's solution. In the second test tube, Mix 1 ml of standard with 4 ml of Drapkin solution. The dilution of the standard is thus 1 in 5 or 0.2. Let's call this the dilution factor. In the third test tube, 
Mix 2 ml of standard with 3 ml of Drafkin's solution. The dilution factor here will be 0.4. In the fourth test tube, mix 3 ml of standard with 2 ml of Drapkin's solution. The dilution factor is 0.6. In the fifth test tube, mix 4 ml of standard with 1 ml of Drapkin's solution. Here, the dilution factor is 0.8. In the sixth test tube, take 5 ml of standard solution only. As this is pure standard, dilution factor can be taken as 1. As the strength of the standard is known, that is 14.8 gram per deciliter, the value of haemoglobin in each dilution can be calculated by multiplying the dilution factor with the strength of the standard. Thus, these values will be 0, 2.9, 5.9, 8.9, 11.8, 14.8. Round off to the nearest decimal point. Take the test tube with neat Drapkin's solution and transfer the solution to the cuvet. Place the cuvet on the spectrophotometer and set the OD to zero at a wavelength of 540 nanometers. Now measure the OD of each dilution in the spectrophotometer against the blank of Drapkin's solution taking a clean cuvet for each dilution. Record the OD values in a table as shown. This table shows volume of standard in each dilution, volume of Drapkin solution, dilution factor, OD values and value of hemoglobin in each dilution of standard. This information can be plotted on a graph with the concentration of hemoglobin in grams per deciliter in standard plotted on the horizontal axis and corresponding absorbance values plotted against the vertical axis. This graph can be plotted on an Excel sheet or manually on a graph paper. The points should be in a straight line that pass through the origin. After OD of the sample is taken, the corresponding hemoglobin value can be directly read by plotting on the graph. For example, if the OD of a test sample is 0.32, after plotting it on the graph, the corresponding haemoglobin concentration is 14.8 grams per deciliter. A new calibration curve must be prepared whenever the test method, calorimeter or cuvet type reagent lot is changed. Advantages of cyan methemoglobin method All forms of haemoglobin except sulfhemoglobin are converted to cyan methemoglobin. Visual error is eliminated as no color matching is required. A reliable and stable reference standard is available from WHO for direct comparison. Disadvantages Potassium cyanide is a poisonous substance and that is the reason why Drapkin's solution must never be pipetted by mouth. The rate of conversion of blood containing carboxyhemoglobin is slowed considerably. Prolonging the reaction time to 30 minutes can overcome this problem. Abnormal plasma proteins cause turbidity when blood is diluted with Drapkin's solution. A high leukocyte count also causes turbidity on dilution of blood. Centrifuging the diluted blood can help overcome the turbidity.